Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Civilization. I'm Legend Ronnie and I know I haven't done any much about it, but there hasn't been much going on. So what I'm going to show you now is a very good tip about Kingdom. After that I'm going to open a tons of chest. So if you do find this video interesting, if you like to see more, obviously subscribe, like, share, or comment. I always answer the comments. <clears throat> So first, I'm gonna go with the tip. And look at that, I finally managed, someone told me about uh, this tip. It's very easy in blue stack, you just bind a key into a corner and then you just hold that key, you hold the, the mouse and voila, you zoom in and out. So what I'm trying to show you is that I have discovered the entire kingdom map. So my entire kingdom map is discovered. If I go back into my city, it says here governor. Now that all the fog, blah blah blah, you can you can read this yourself. So my scouts can only be used for scouting other cities. And this is the tip that I want to show you. You know these kingdom maps. So because everything is discovered, watch this. When I use it, it grants me. 150,000 food cart. If I would have knew this from the beginning, I would have said all the kingdom uh, items, the kingdom map items. I would have probably had like, I don't know, 20 million in food cards. So this is my tip. If you still have those kingdom maps or if you're starting a new server, do not use those kingdom maps. The map you will explore it at some point anyway. So save your kingdom. And there you go, 150,000 resource card. That's quite a lot. So obviously if I'm going to open this uh, treasure cave chest at some point, uh, I will get more kingdom maps and uh, obviously more resources for me. But I'm not using them because I don't really need resources. Uh, the chest, they are very, very good to use them when you need resources. Like, you know, you're fighting, you're in a war. Same is with the cards or any other chest. It is best to use them when you're at war. Because that's when you keep you need to keep healing your troops, keep healing your troops, keep fighting, keep fighting. We can see that I'm almost at 5 million kills, so I know what I'm talking about. Once I finish off this hospital, I'm going to upgrade the city hall to 22. And that's a crucial stage into the game. 17 is is the first one and then the next one is 22 because troop dispatch queue so basically you can farm a lot more once you reach uh, town hall 22 you have five queues so you can send out five armies to gather resources for you so that's very very good now i'm gonna open a bunch of chests if you're not interested in this My next video um, that I'm going to make will be about commanders. I have a tremendous amount of experience saved up, uh, which I'm going to plan it very, very well. And my plan is to do a all commander or something similar, like the best commanders or how you, you should. Uh, set up your army your commanders in the future right now i find it much more useful to have like one big army rather than uh, i don't know having uh, three groups of army i don't find the boost as high as it should be if you're surrounding the enemy i've been fighting a lot and i'm pretty sure i know what i'm talking about I've been surrounded like many many times, I like six, seven armies, but the bonus was not as great as you think. For them, obviously. So there is with the silver, now let's go on with the gold. Open another. Yeah. 
So at the moment I'm still uh, with the same commanders. With the same two commanders, I still they are still my main commanders. But as I mentioned, I plan to to change that. I still need a bit more army in order to make it work. I only have like 50, 60 thousand uh, of each, so I cannot do what I want at the moment. So I can finally summon her, I can finally, I think I can, or I have it already, Frederick. We are going to look after. Alright, so that's it, no more keys. I saved them up from the events. So let's go, whoa, look at that, five commanders. So yeah, Boudica is level 40, apparently it can go up to level 50. I'm not sure if it can go higher than level 50, but it's surely going to be her last star. Uh, I have the experience if I want to get up to level 50, just look at that. 3,800 of, of those, uh, 600 of those, 300 of those, <laughs> 141 of those and uh, 30 of these. So basically I could all, I could get her all, almost get her to level, level 50 if I want, but I plan to level up some other commanders, I'm not entirely sure. It's, she's just missing one skill. Let's go and finish and upgrade her first. Alright, so gain additional 15 rage when attacking enemy, increase skill damage. Serves as the secondary commander. That's pretty, pretty nice. Not a 15%, but does she actually have any skill damage? It's only this one. Active skills. Passive, passive, passive. Or does it mean that it's increased my main commander skill damage? Uh, Hopefully, when casting an active skill can reduce current target's damage. That is pretty, pretty sick. Can. So what's the chance? I mean, does it reduce or... Anyway. She is my secondary commander, my main commander. Skills. So I need 50 of these to make the last one. So this is my plan, this is what I want to do with the experience. I want to see, I like Charles Martel for the infantry, I like uh, uh, Scipio Africanus as well, then I like Lancelot for cavalry and probably another one, I'm not sure if Frederick. This is Disabled, Archer, Defender, no. I think it was Julius Caesar or Richard. Richard is for infantry as well. For El Cid. El Cid is for archers. Hannibal Barca is leader, support and attacker. So this is what my plan is. I want to have like two commanders that will lead my archers. I want to have two commanders that would lead my infantry. And I want to have two commanders that would lead my horses, so in total is six commanders. But I do not have enough army capacity yet. To, uh, you can see my main commander can have up to 128,000. So if I have to do only archers, not to mention that you can use item that increase the capacity like 25 or 50 percent, another 50 percent that would be 64,000, that would be 192,000 archers. But I do not have that sort of army. Or swordsman, so that's why I go with just one group right now. Let me show you. You can see that archers I have like, let's say roughly of forty thousand in in each, forty fifty thousand in each. Uh, so that is the problem. I have to go with a with a group, big, big, with a big group right now. But when I will have the army capacity. I will separate them all, I will just go archers and archers, I will switch the talents as well, I will just go uh, swordsmen and swordsmen and just 
cavalry in cavalry and hit the same target with uh, all three troops. Let me go back into the commander. Not skills, talents. You can see that there is a talent tree for archers. You can increase uh, uh, damage, defense. You can increase march speed, health of archers. When it only grants additional damage. So that is pretty, pretty crazy. And if you still have points left on the commander, then you can go like all troops attack. March speed, increase normal attack and counter attack damage, defense, health. Where is health? Defense, all troops health. So there is a lot of options you can do. It, mainly you can see that this... Uh, Hero is basically archers and cavalry. I don't have for swordsmen, for infantry. So yeah, that is my plan to have like two heroes for archers, two for for infantry, and uh, two for uh, for the horses. But in the early level, in the early game, it is much better if you attack with a group. The damage, the damage. Is much higher if you separate your army it's less troops they get easily countered I don't find it very very useful or I don't find it good so that was that is all for now until I have a lot more troops I cannot do the, the commander video that I'm, I'm hope for uh, so thank you all for watching this is all for now you saw how much it cost to upgrade to 22 it's pretty sick, the amount of resources. So yeah, see you later everyone. Peace out.